the budget framework uh, is still being worked out. Uh, as I said uh, at our away day, um, there are some data that we still await. Uh, the growth figures uh, should be available before the end of the week. And then we have to see the end of month tax returns. Because we're constructing the budget much earlier than normal, um, we won't have as clear a data for the end of year as we would normally in a December budget. Uh, so we will make uh, the structure of the budget on the basis of the best and latest data we can. Uh, we had uh, an EMC yesterday, uh, so we began the, the, the outline discussions then, and I will be having discussions with Cabinet colleagues uh, throughout this week and next week. The Nevin Institute has suggested that £2 billion uh, worth of cuts will be sufficient, made up mainly from uh, an increase in tax on, the, on higher earners. What's your response to that? Um, we listen to all advices, the Nevin Institute, um, the ESRI, the Fiscal Council, um, all have uh, very authoritative views, uh, unfortunately all different views, uh, so we'll take them all into consideration as we construct a budget <coughs> that is the right one for Ireland to get us out of the bailout process and that will uh, ensure that the growth that we've begun to see, the recovery that we've begun to see is bedded down and that we create and sustain jobs as our number one priority. Minister, there are already protesters outside on Kildare Street this morning. Is this going to be a tough term, do you think? Uh, well, there's always protesters outside the door. That's part of the democratic tour and throne. Uh, in the 30 years I'm here, uh, that's been the norm. Um, we've come through the most challenging two and a half years uh, in this state since the 1930s. Uh, the fact that we've gone through it, we've made such fundamental changes, um, major reductions in expenditure, major changes in the way we deliver services, and we've done it by and large with enormous measures of agreement. If you look at the Haddington Road Agreement, the largest, most comprehensive public sector wage agreement uh, ever negotiated, the, the biggest round of new productivity measures ever negotiated, and we've done that by agreement. So I think the Irish people um, will this government to succeed. They want our economy uh, to recover and they want a sustainable future uh, for their own children. Uh, and and they, they now see, I think, uh, that the strategy, difficult and all as it was for the last two and a half years, is working.